actress Sonequa Martin-Green is returning to her role as Michael Burnham in the fourth season of the Paramount Plus series Star Trek Discovery. Burnham is making history as the first black female captain in the franchise's 55-year run. In a preview clip from Thursday's episode, her role as captain begins with a huge challenge. Discovery. Today we seek to understand a threat like none our galaxy has faced before. We know the cost of its destructive power all too well. We lost colleagues, friends, and Quajon. Countless lives, histories, futures. We won't let their deaths be in vain. And we are going to make damn sure nothing like this happens again. Not on our watch. Not on our watch. Black alert. I kept it. Mm. Sonequa <laughs> Martin Green joins <laughs> us now. Good morning. Good morning. No, but Sonequa, I love black going, mm, the universal sound of approval. <laughs> <laughs> It's so true. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Because, Sonequa, that scene, I mean, you are a Starfleet captain. Mm. You are a Starfleet captain. And you made history in becoming a Starfleet captain. Right. Talk right. to me about that. Oh, it's hard to talk about without crying. Really? Uh, is it? Yeah, it, 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 it is. It is. And, and really because I've been growing so much here lately, um, we were talking about this just just a moment ago. I, I lost my parents in April, mm -hmm. uh, one day of each other. Of, of this year? Of this, this year. year. Oh, Sonequa, wow. And thank you. I'm so sorry. Um, and, and so uh, there's been a lot of maturation happening in, in my heart as a result of it. And then this is happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I found it a little difficult to celebrate there for a little bit um, mm -hmm. because making history in this way um, obviously, it's something that I thought I would do while they were here. Mm. Um, and I know they are here, and I know that they're proud and everything, but it just, it just has so many layers, and it's, it's quite surreal. Um, but I've also realized that it's not, um, it's not what I thought it was. I was, I was quite self-oriented about it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Because before I was the captain, I was still the first black female to lead a, yes, a Trek show. Right. I remember. And I thought, well, this is all, I, I gotta do this. I gotta do this right. I gotta say everything right. I gotta be perfect. I gotta, that's the only way I'm gonna do it justice. That's the only way I'm gonna pay homage to the people that have come before me, like you. And that's the only way. And what I didn't realize is that I, that was making it all about me. When it's all up to you, it's all about you. Mm. And so I'm coming out of that as well, which is, um, it's profound, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Yeah, the, the mm. burden of history, one of the most storied franchises mm. in the world, mm. the fans, mm -hmm. but also losing your family, and then also having a young daughter. That's right. You have a son, but you also had a daughter. And then the pandemic. Yes. And then everything that happened around the police brutality and George right. Floyd, all of that going into... Going into your role as, right. as Burnham. At this moment, and I can see it. I can see it now that the first episode has premiered. I didn't watch it ahead of time. I waited mm -hmm. um, so I could see it with the world. Leadership and I can see all of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that it was visible at the time. Yeah, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I can see it. I, I was freshly postpartum. Um, you know, a bigger Burnham than we're used to seeing, uh, which, which is beautiful. Um, but I was carrying not just physical weight, but, but so much weight, emotional weight, spiritual weight uh, at the same time. And I, and I can see it. I can see Sinequa, it. I'm still stunned by the death of your parents. Yeah. I had no idea. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Thank you. Um, but I, I look at your character, and it, it, there seems to be a dynamic between you and the president. Mm -hmm. But she seems to be coming for you, as the kids mm -hmm. of today say. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see the dynamic between the two of you. But I love the the tagline that you have when, it, when she came into the green room, I'm like, let's fly. Yes. I love that tagline for you. And you said it's very, in, very emblematic of who she is. That's right. It very what much is. Well, because Burnham, uh, I'm, it's interesting that you uh, talk about that moment with President Rillick uh, and Burnham because... I'm not sure I like President Rillick. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. I don't know if I like you. 
Thank you. Natural that's tension between that's right, the president that's right, that's and right. a Starfleet Thanks officer. It's normal. Story. Yeah. Because there's the, there's this idea of um, you know Burnham is very uh, obviously very self sufficient and 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 tenacious and and driven and and effective as well. Uh, but then there's also still so much to learn, and we've been able to see this woman grow and change and fall forward, and it's a luxury that's provided in this sort of utopian future mm -hmm. with this black woman being able to make mistakes and yeah. being able to fall forward and still burst past that ceiling. So the, the president is, is challenging her. Well, I'm rooting for you. I'm a little creeped out by the faces. Listen, <laughs> Vlad is a Trekkie for, for real, for real. I'm still she knows a that. out. She knows that. Hey! Please know we're cheering you on. Love always, having you. Always, always. Oh, Sonequa Martin-Green, we thank you, thank you. Thank you, You can watch new episodes of Star Trek Discovery every Thursday on Viacom CBS streaming service. It's called Paramount Plus.